Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can add a hamburger menu just like this onto your desktop website on Squarespace Sample 1. So I've already created the code. So if you just want to get the code, you can just go into the description and then you're going to just open up the link of this blog which I have just created. You can just copy the code and you will be good to go. But if you want to understand the code and the CSS behind it, then please bear with me because in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you that. Okay, so let's go into design and custom CSS. And uh, let's see here. So let's discuss a few parts of it. And let's first add some spaces so that we can see all code oh. so if you see first i have changed the order of this burger header burger here so i've changed the order of that i've changed it to be to two because i want it to appear in the second position and i want this this to be on the first position okay so that's the first core right here and if you can see, so I have created, I've changed uh, the default the functionality of Squarespace to have two of these ones here. So I've changed that to three, so you can see that there is one black here as well. So if you want to change that, so you, if you see, so one is top one here, so this is this one. And I've changed its height to three pixel. So if you want to change its height, for example, five pixel, which I don't recommend, uh, you can do that. And underneath here, so I have also removed it by 10 pixels upward. And then here, this is the patty, which is the in between of these two bonds. And this is black color. So if you want to change its color, because it does not look good. So for example, just for the sake of our video, I'm going to change it to orange. You can change it to whatever you want. And if you do not want it, you can just remove all this part here. And this will still look but what you will have to one here, which is same three pixel side, and we can also move it up first by removing this part. And now this is what Squarespace provides us by default. So if you want to keep that, it's up to you. All right. So I have also changed the size titles alignment. This is not important. If you want, you can remove that. Okay, this is to this part here is to apply the flex box to the header, which is important. And also this last part here, this last part of the code, which is to hide these these items here. Because we have so what we are essentially doing is that we are just showing the mobile menu on the desktop as well, and we are hiding the default desktop menu. So for that we need to hide this and now we are good to go. Right, so let's see our changes and let's view it on full screener and this is how it looks like. Yeah. So let me know if you have any questions and if you have any comments and uh, if you want me to create tutorials on any other topic, just let me know and Till then, bye-bye.